If you have a child who suffers from food allergies, you know that when they leave for school, there's always the danger of an unexpected reaction. Recently, Alberto Vasayo spoke to two innovators in this field who are offering a possible solution. Here is his conversation with the two of them. Food allergies and children and the school setting. Now, here in the United States, I did not know this, there are nearly 6 million kids under the age of 18 that suffer from food allergy, which means that a kid asking another kid for a small bite of a peanut butter sandwich could cause a major reaction in the cafeteria. So, I've invited two guests that could talk a little bit about these life-threatening situations, especially as it pertains in the classroom or in the school setting. So, joining me today are, well, first of all, you know what? Let's say hello from Boston. How's everything? Good morning, Boston. Go Red Sox. Good morning. So those two lovely people you see on camera are Tanya Winder, she's of the Allergy and Asthma Network, and Dr. Eric Edwards, who's not only a longtime sufferer, but he's got a great invention. So let's get right to it. Tanya, what should parents know within the school settings or what they can do to help this situation out? Well, Alberta, it's a very busy time. As the mom of five, that back to school time gets extremely hectic and you're doing your checklist of what goes in the backpack and certainly notepads and pens and all those different school supplies. But it's also important if you're the parent of a child who has life-threatening allergies that you include their epinephrine auto-injector. That's the only treatment for those kids that are living with these life-threatening allergies. And this year, more so than any, it's critically important that you sit down with your doctor and talk about your and front auto injector choices because we have new options on the market. Tony, tell me a little bit about why it's important for parents to talk to their doctors about the options for their kids. So there are branded and generic products on the market now and again we're going to talk about one specific option here in just a moment with Dr. Edwards that these options have various different um, mechanisms and, and different attributes to each one of them that make them unique and possibly the best fit for each individual kid. Dr. Evans, tell me a little bit about your new invention and how it's different from past medications. Well, we're just thrilled to be able to have an, another option available for patients. Uh, this is personal for my brother and I. We grew up with life-threatening food allergies and have lived through an anaphylactic reaction. We also are parents of food allergic children, so our goal was to create an option developed by patients for patients, get the allergy community together, and to try to create a different option for patients. And what we developed was AviQ. It stands for Audible and Visual Cues, uh, because this compact epinephrine auto injector is the first and only epinephrine auto injector that provides voice instructions that assist and guide a user, a babysitter, a caregiver, a family member through that panic-stricken allergic emergency situation. So I imagine, Dr. Edwards, that this is a, an ideal option, especially for students in school. Well, when you're heading back to school, you know, there's a lot of fear and you, you have all these competing priorities to try to figure out how do we manage food allergies in that environment. You have to get together all the stakeholders, the cafeteria workers, the teachers, the transportation and bus drivers, as well as the clinic staff. And for us, we wanted to develop a product that could be kept with you at all times, as well as make sure that you had a product that was going to be able to provide you voice instruction systems that, that assist you through that emergency situation. I'll also add another important point was in this back to school season, we wanted to make sure that you could ex have access to an epinephrine auto injector and the access to options like AviQ. So we developed a first of its kind access program called affordability that makes sure that anyone with commercial insurance can obtain the product for zero dollars. So whether or not your insurer covers it or not or if you have a high deductible plan, we make sure that all patients get it for zero dollars if you have commercial insurance. All right, Tanya, as we wrap this up, where can people go for more information? Absolutely. You can visit allergyasthmanetwork.org, network, our website, to learn more about the signs and symptoms of anaphylaxis, as well as the different treatment options, and how to have that conversation with your doctor as you go back to school for a successful year. And for more information right. on AviQ, you can visit aviq.com. All right. Well, thank you so much for all this valuable information. And again, goodbye from Boston, Massachusetts. All right. See you, Boston. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, when we come back, all the details on the second annual Latino 30 Under 30 right here on Urban Update.